Hi guys, it's me Lee and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to make a blingy dummy clip. So I've already made it, but um, I've, I have to, I've, I took it apart thinking I'd have enough beads. I don't know if you can see that, but um, let me see if I can turn the light off. Will it work? Oh, there you go. So this is what I'm remaking. Um, I thought I'd have enough beads to finish my dummy clip. Uh, then I was going to do a video showing how to do that. However, I don't have enough blue beads and the ones I ordered was too small. So we're just going to remake the dummy clip instead. It is for a, a, a pram, not pram. It is for a reborn doll, not a real baby. Um, so, yeah. So uh, I've got this. Now I paid someone to make this bow thing for me on the back. Um, you can use... One of these sort of things. It's a headband for, that you buy for babies. You can get them in a pack of, I think it's 20 for like £3, £4, maybe a bit more. And then this is what the pram charm would look like afterwards. However, I'm doing this version. So this I paid someone to make, but if you know how to make these, you can make it yourself. This Dumbo I got on eBay. You get two this size. Um... I can't remember how much they were actually. They were about three or four pound. And then these you can buy in packs of 10 or 20. And this is, you just, and it opens. Okay, so I have on my little thing here, I have some Shambhala beads. Uh, these are 10 mil. Um, the ones I ordered was eight mil, so I, that was my bad. And then I have some of these, uh, I, I don't even know what these are called. But you put them on to like separate the beads. I have some little mini spacer beads. I have the name Jake Kean. That's what the baby reborn doll is being called. I have some white biotone beads and some mini blue pearly type beads. So it's out. and I also have this uh, fifty. I think it's fifty gauge. I'm not sure how much this is. I'm sure it's oh yeah fifty pound. £50, pounds, sorry, fishing wire. Uh, it's extra strong. The man at, at the fishing shop said, well, gave me a funny look when I asked for something um, for this. And he went, oh, is it to hang something? I was like, no, it's to make a dummy clip. So it's like this, no no one should be able to snap this, basically. So, which I, is bullshit because I already snapped it myself the other day when I was making something else with my hands. Okay, so... Oh, I have some um, glue as well. Uh, I will show you that why. So, I've got a pack of nail tools. Uh, jewellery making tools, sorry. So, I've just used the clipper ones to snip the, the wire. So, yeah. So, what I do is I loop. Can you see that? Yeah. So, what I do is I loop. Can we see? Like that, and then I loop it in. So basically, you're doing a slip knot to start with, but it's a bit more fiddly when you're trying to do it on camera as well as in person. So I'm starting off with a slip knot, I just think it looks a bit nice, and then I'm going to do a double knot as well. And uh, this is just to give it that little extra bit of security. So I'm double knotting. And then again, doing another knot. So you can get a pair of tweezers and pull. Okay. So the next thing would be to center it as much as you possibly can into the center of the, the metal clop whatever this is you know and then you want to get your glue <sighs> I spilt this the other day all over my desk okay so the woman that I asked uh, that makes these told me that just to put a bit of glue and then it sh the knot won't come undone and in fairness, none of them have, and I've been pulling and faffing with them. I have to literally snip it. 
so I'm just making sure to put a bit of glue all over the place so I'm just going to let that dry a minute and I'll be back all right guys so the glue was dried oh a little it's still a bit tacky anyway so uh, I just I forgot to mention that I you can either attach this to the ribbon by either using hot glue or E6000 and the same for this I used hot glue and E6000 because E6000 takes a while to set and then obviously the hot glue sets pretty much instantly so I am going to sit here and just turn it upside down so I'm going to use the picture of the original that I made as a reference so I got these beads here these little space beads and there's three so you're going to put three on you can put as many as or as little as you want on and then I'm going to let it roll down so I don't know if you can see them there but can you see this wire here you want to feed that through each individual bead this might sound like a, or seem like a daft thing to do it just gives that extra bit of security you know where the knot is from coming undone so next is a blue pearly bead and then another space of bead I would literally sit here and show you the whole process if I knew how to like fast forward and stuff but I actually don't know how to do that yet and I don't know how to do it where it doesn't look like it's slowing down at the same time you know like it's lagging or else I'd show you the whole process so I'm just going to show you a few of me, me doing this and then this end result so what colour bead it's white first oh wait oh yeah so i put one of these like weird what a flower light shape beads on oh and then i'm gonna put one of these on and then you want to get another flowery thingy bead So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue my pattern until I get to the letters and then I'll show you how to do the letters. Okay guys, so this is the pattern of the top so far. I don't know if it would be better without the light. So this is the pattern so far. I don't like it with the thing, but they are pretty beads. Um, so next step would be to do the wording. So, I'm going to put my light back on actually. It just gives it a bit more clearer. So, when I do it, because I do it so when you're the baby's dummy is in their mouth, you can see the way the name that way around, not this way around. As I don't know if that makes sense. So, I move this to my what's it called? What's this hand? Right, right. Move this to my right side. And then I literally, oh, sugar bum. I'm literally going to sit there and move it out of the way a minute. So to start off with, you want to put an end bead on, you know, to separate the uh, the, the blingy beads. Uh, you can't see it. The blingy beads from the letters. And I'm going to put one of these white bi biotone beads. And then I'm going to use these white biotone beads as spacer beads. So you want to go with the whatever, however you're spelling it. So you will need to check because you can end up with it the wrong way on some letters. And then three, feed it on with a letter and then a bead. And then A because if you look, it's different. So it doesn't matter when you put it on, it does matter which way you put it on. 
so you have to feed it and check constantly when you're doing the letters okay so this is a, a double barrel name once you know how to do it you can kind of get in the this you know the flow of things and then when you get to the the double barrel name because it's a two part names so i'm gonna sit there you can either do a couple of these white beads but i'm personally going to sit there and go with a, a white bead a, a flower thing a blue bead a flower thing and then a white bead and that's what it will look like and then you do the other part of the name which in this case is Jake so then it's a letter white bead letter white bead letter okay and then you want a white bead at the end and then a silver bead okay so then so that's what that looks like so you've got the letters jake kean and then on the dummy clip it will say jake kean mcconkey on so but jake kean on one side mcconkey on the other side so what you want to do now when you've done this set right like, because obviously this is the same as this so you want to repeat this pattern the opposite way around yeah and then when we get to do the loopy bit where the dummy is held on i will show you that bit so i'll be back in a minute when i've completed you know added these this section of beads here okay guys so the only difference between the top of this and the bottom is as you can see here uh, here there's three metal beads in a pearl and at the bottom here there's a pearl and three of these there's a met one metal three of these a metal and then a blue with a metal here at the end so now we're just going to do the loopy bit so move your thing out the way and your tools and as you can see here i've got a pile of white beads uh, biotone beads i think that's what they're called i call them that because that's what i'm used to calling them and literally all you're going to do is sit here and feed the beads through uh you could do it as big or as small as you like but you do have to consider that when you because it's like um let me show you like like this you do have to remember that when you put your dummy attach your dummy here so you'll fold it put your dummy on and then you'll loop it and this bow thing has to fit through the hole does that make sense so you have to make sure that when it's thinged and attached that when you can fit the bow through and then obviously your dummy will be like connected uh, I can show you at the end um, if you like and obviously I just need it to be big enough to be fit this dumbo through and because this ribbon folds nearly spilt the whole thing apart so I think I have a dummy I'm just going to feed a couple more beads through and you can see and then I'll show you how I tie it off and finish it. Please remember this is not for a baby. I mean I do have some for my baby um, but obviously if you have something like this and you're using it on a, with a baby you have to supervise the baby just in case it comes apart because obviously you don't want anything like that. I personally am probably not going to use uh, the dummy clips even though I have them. I'm probably not going to use them. It's more for keepsake. Um, I have material ones um, which are you know a lot more safer um, this shouldn't break according to the fisherman guy because it, it's like 50 pounds it can carry its weight on so it's like more than sturdy enough however you never know 
never 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 know I have no idea how many beads I'm using you could always you know when I'm finished pause the video uh, and count them if you want um because I, I would say at least 30 or 40 but that's just a rough guess because I'm not actually sure could be more for all I know When my friend's baby, when my friend decides what she's naming her baby, I will do a video on how to make the pram charm. Um, because my friend's having a little boy. Oh, I'll get that in a minute. And I've got these absolutely. Look at these ones. This is the ones I'm making for her. And my another lady I know gets these, and I buy these off her. So. Oh yeah, I was supposed to stop this video. Right, okay, so I'm going to finish feeding these beads on and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's like a nice row of white beads. Uh, I have checked. So to check, I literally just push my finger right up and loop it and hold it. And then you just want to check that this will fit through the hole. Well, sorted. Okay, so to knot it off or end it if you will i will loosen that a bit this bit here and i will pull the bead you know this metal one can you see this metal one and then feed it in and then i'll feed it into this one and then this one and then that one so you're feeding it into a couple of the beads okay so then you want to sit there and like pull and push and then you know pull it and push it so you can pull it together and that's pretty much all it is that you've got to do is just keep moving the stuff down so that you can pull the beads together so, do you know what i mean can you, can you i hope you can see what i'm doing and then pull and then the same and there we go okay so now it's all sealed together so you want to do like a couple of knots a double knot should be fine you can do a triple if you want it just makes a lot uh, the gap the whole thing look bigger so it does try and attach over the thing so you're just trying to hold it so it doesn't and then you get another Okay, and then you want to get your snips up to the thing and snip. And then you want to get some glue. Move. You could make it, if you could get a bigger bead and, and the, the knot would fit through, that would hide the knot. I'm just, I, I don't have any bigger beads and this is only for a, a doll. So, and then you can move it so that the thing looks a bit. So I'll be back when that's done and show you the finished look. I'm moving it so it's straight. That's what I meant. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like finished. So this will, it's as you can see, so it goes down and then it's got the baby's name. And then it finishes off like that. So let me go and see if I've got a dummy that can thingy for this. Okay, so this is a dummy that my niece made me. It's got a bit of bling on. So you want to get the handle and feed it in. So and then hold it open. You don't want it to come over the other end. And then you want to push your dummy in, this thing, and pull. And then you want to pull and it should 
stay on like that and that is what it looks like with a dummy on so there you are guys so if you like this video please like share subscribe leave a comment below if you have any ideas for any other videos and i hope to see you in the next one thank you for watching guys